So the poll results have come back for the poll I put up today, and uh, it seems that 88% of people would like to see me still play RS3, while 12% only want me to play other stuff, 34% uh, want to see me play other stuff just in general, um, but 66% want me to stick solely to RS3. And what this leads me to decide is that I'm going to stick to RS3, but every now and then you may get a video mashup and watch me be bad at League of Legends or bad at Overwatch, something like that. Maybe screw around with friends one night and make a video out of it. Or occasionally I may go and uh, try to do like a 100% of a game that I find interesting. Maybe something that pops up on Humble Bundle. Or uh, if I decide to continue playing Black Desert, I can make occasional... Uh, videos over that. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be sticking to RuneScape, as that's what it seems the overwhelming majority wants to happen. And that being said, I've got some stuff I need to sort out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is try to earn some GP. I've got a lot of alkables in the bank that I'm going to uh, burn through, and try to earn up enough to buy, I believe it's three bonds, to buy myself a permanent wealth evaluator. Just because I want to see what my bank is worth, it's something that I needed to do at the end of my comp series, and it completely skipped my mind. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do today, focus on. Um, try to knock out, I'll probably end up having to do some Slayer to earn a little bit more GP. Uh, but I'll show you guys what ends up happening. Also, I have removed the day counter. I've switched just to overall XP. Uh, you may hear me mention occasionally like what day it is. Um, but the only thing that really matters is that I took a week off a little bit back, y'all remember that. Uh, so, um, I started the account October 14th, 2016. I took a week off at one point, and if you want to know how many days into the account we are, well, it's, uh, add seven days to that, and then, you know, subtract. There's a website called days.2, uh, which might help out with that. Yeah, so, that's the plan, that's what's going to happen. Now I've got a nice little uh, intro and outro to make, you probably just saw the intro. The outro is going to work uh, pretty well with it, if if everything works like I have it in my mind right now. So i got to do a little recording for that, do some alking by the Wealth Evaluator, and I'll show you guys what my bank is worth. Oh man, he used the Grand Exchange account ruined, no I'm kidding. Two inventory, they were both bought for 14.7 mil, if you're wondering. Uh, so I'm going to use these, redeem both of them into rune coins. Yeah, okay. And continue. Alright, the next one over to rune coins. Continue. And go down here, wealth evaluator buy now, and buy the permanent one. I already had a hundred and something rune coins on my account, uh, so I now, yeah, I have more than 480. Bam. Buy that. Unlock the permanent wealth evaluator. Let's click that to see what happens. 538 mil. Untradeable wealth? Okay, I guess that's a little bit more. That's quite a lot more. Wow. 680. I guess that counts for like the uh, the Nox uh, staff though because because it's damaged right now. So that's that's probably uh, yeah that's probably accurate. 689 mil. <laughs> oh man, that's that's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, we'll see if we can't get that number up though uh, pretty soon. Seeing as I'm going to probably be doing quite a bit of Slayer and bossing. Just doing a bit of a uh, Queen Black Dragon task, and I got myself a Draconic Visage. Um, it's not a task, it's a uh, it's the last Reaper task that I actually had on my account. And, uh, let me see, how many kills in? Um, I had 11 to go, and that was 8th left, so 3 kills in, I got myself one. Not bad. And Torsion String back to back, or a Torsion Spring, that is. Um, why couldn't I have been that lucky whenever I was going for a royal crossbow? 
down to two kills left, and I just remembered that it's probably a good idea to bring along a Ring of Wealth. Really gonna have to start remembering to use the uh, Ring of Wealth or the Luck of the Dwarves once I finally get it, uh, just because, you know, Hazelmere's Signet Ring is totally a possibility. Uh, there, okay. And there, 11 kills, done. Wow, I made like four clips for that. Man, these videos are probably gonna get long real quick. No drops! Alright, on to the next thing. You know, I probably shouldn't skip this if I'm going to go for like, I don't know, final boss at some point. I may as well just take the, uh, the task with Corp. So why not? I just realized I've been just doing stuff without any real goal set. So, that's something I'm gonna do right now. Set them on my notes page, and I'll show you guys what I come up with. Alright, so this is everything I came up with really quick. Um, orange, or the yellow, amber, whatever, is going to be uh, something that's in progress. Red is something that I haven't begun yet, and white is just something that I need to always keep in mind. So right now, it's going to be the slow push to 120 Slayer, Minifos quests. Uh, earn gold for bonds, uh, which is for the Premier Club, once that comes back out in a few months, and bank slots, uh, because I am really sick of just having to clean out my bank, and even if that means that I gotta spend, like, I don't know, 30 mil for 50 bank slots or something, I'm gonna go for it. Really don't have anything else to spend GP on, I don't think, so may as well. Uh, finish my Nox set, that's orange because I'm one out of three. Uh, I'm gonna wait for 2, 3, and 1, 2 to roll around. It's currently 1-3, and I think I'm just going to skip 1-3 every time, because I, I don't want to I don't wanna deal with that. Uh, finish my T70 gear from God Wars Dungeon, finally. Uh, stock up on urns for skilling, a thousand of each type. I'm going to do all of them except for mining and hunter, I think. Um, mining because your time is pretty much better spent just doing sarin stones the entire time. And hunter because it's fast enough as is. Uh, stock up on augmenters and components and stock up on energies or charges. Uh, so that's pretty much everything that I've got to think about. Uh, I will be knocking out Slayer over time. I may as well set that uh, level target to 120 just to show how much I've got to go. 83.3 mil, uh, so it's going to take quite a bit of time, but I'll do it whenever I feel like it, honestly. Um, it's not that bad. It's something I enjoy. And uh, yeah, that's... That's the game plan right now. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like it's, and uh, still get some mad gains. Hey, got some anti-poison plus plus. That should help me out against Rex a little bit. Well, I didn't get much from that Corp Reaper task, uh, but I did get an elite clue scroll. It's time to run it. Hopefully I can get some fortunate components from this. Clue opening with Llama. Let's go! Ah, uh, rip. Wow, I didn't know Divine Implings were that good. 1,072 Incandescent Energy from one Impling? That's insane. Oh, this is something I hadn't considered. Um. Hmm. Not sure what skill is actually going to be hardest for me to get up. I guess I should put this into, like, smithing all the time? Maybe Herblore? But, I mean, if I gotta... If I'm thinking, like... My account is going for 200 mil all. Then I don't pick farming because... I mean, Herblore. And Herblore and farming complete themselves. Like, Fletching might be a good idea, but that's just one more day. So I... Yeah, I think I'll just pick smithing. Just start putting this stuff into smithing, or wherever I feel like, honestly. Decided to start mining some clay for, uh... You know, for urns. I uh, got myself a perfect plus potion running. Actually made some of them for once. I'm going to use up some Sign of the Porters that I have. Uh, but there is this downside that my pickaxe occasionally is going to burn some of the clay. Or at least I think it will. Uh, I'm not sure if the Perfect Plus Potion will counter that furnace effect, but uh, yeah. So some clay is probably going to be probably gonna be rip, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not actually sure how they... Yeah, okay. They don't, they don't interact well. Rip clay. Well, after a short while, I ended up getting invited to a Beastmaster team. Um, did 23 minutes of that. 1,700 soft clay? That's insane. Uh, though I am going to mine, like, I don't know, 10,000 or something, and then make it all into, uh, into urns. So, 
Yeah, that's that's quite a bit knocked off. I'll probably come back right after a Beastmaster kill. Or two, if I'm able to do so before and after reset. Oh, I just learned that raids is actually once every two days. My bad. Come on, Codex. Aw, wah, wah. And no. Okay. I ended up mining quite a bit of clay in the end and made 200 of uh, each of these types of urns so far. There's rune crafting, divination, farming, cooking, fishing, and woodcutting. These are the six that I think are worth making. Uh, you could also do mining if you were like going for 200 mil, but even then I don't think it's worth it since you're always going to get more than enough mining as opposed to like smithing. Um, yeah, but I also have uh, quite a bit of soft clay left over 2.5k here. Uh, which is good progress towards my uh, 1,000 of each goal. That's about another uh, 1,200 right there, 1,300 almost. And uh, each of these need another 800, so that's um, that's 4,800 to go. Got 1,300 in the bank. Yeah, not too bad. Moved on to doing a little bit of bandos tonight for my last hour, and uh, God Sword Shard 3, about, I don't know, 10 minutes into the instance. Meh. Two or three kills later, also from a minion, another God Sword Shard 3. And some Bandos War Priest. I'll take it, I guess. Zero use for them, but uh, I guess if I complete the set, I can just throw it in my player owned house. Well, now I'm up to 434 KC with no boots. Oh, and the hard clue just happened to pop. Got a heart and an elite from Bandos. There's a U combo, so pretty happy about that. More. Skip tickets to add to my collection, but BAM! Number 45. Ba -da -da -da, elite clue! Oh, nothing. Okay, reroll. Uh, okay, that's that's a component, I think. Let's... You know what? YOLO. I think it's a component. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one, so that's 46. 47! I was wrong. Well, just came and did some Twin Fury kills for a uh, reaper task and got nothing through all the kills the 22 seals I guess is kind of nice oh though that did mark 40 reaper assignments done I got an extra 10 points and uh, wow 32 points that's pretty insane man it's just god sword shard 3 this god sword shard 3 that and all of them from minions what is this yet another hour down at Kriara and that hour of Bando is still missing two pieces for both of those bosses. What's that put me up to? Uh, 6.49. Oh. Uh. Hey, 104 range. Not bad. Nice. Slayer level 104 as well. Because I think I just hit 104 range, right? Yeah, not bad. Oh man, finally hit the big league, boys. Got a uh, email from a website claiming, We don't sell RuneScape gold, but we do give it away in exchange for monetary value that you give us. <laughs> Looking to uh, sponsor my YouTube channel. I think that means, like, I don't know, I'm I'm a small business owner now? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, while I'd never say yes to some shady shit like that, I wonder why they're looking to, like, advertise on an Iron Man's YouTube channel. Like, they're gonna give me gold. Really? How are you- how does that even work? Do they- do they also have a way to- to break the Iron Men can't trade? Or- <laughs> I don't- I don't understand their- their thinking there. Got myself a Dagonoth Slayer task, so I'm going to go try out the Dagonoth Kings for like the first time, properly doing a uh, a kill there. Um, never camped them before, never tribrid them, uh, done a tribrid there before. Uh, so this is going to be interesting at least. Um, Ask my friend who went to like 7k KC for some advice and. He helped me out with the, the gearing, you know, gave me some, some tips, some pointers. Uh, yeah, we'll see if I can't get a pet, or at least some more hatchets to uh, to make a nice little collection. And uh, I think I want a mud battle staff as well. Nice, dragon hatchet, like, I don't know, 
six kills in. Yeah, that that's right. Started at 263, so uh, yeah, it's pretty good so far. Pretty easy as well. And there's hatchet number two. Um, not sure just how many kills uh, in I am so far, but uh, you can see. I think it was 263, and then 18 more. Um, yeah, pretty easy though. Not too bad for one hour. I made it uh, down to 145, which is just about uh, 118 kills, I believe. Um, so that's a it's a decent hour, but it's pretty bad Slayer. So I think uh, every time I get a Dagonoth task, I'm gonna go do an hour of DKs, and I'll finish up the rest uh, underneath the lighthouse. And the follow-up loot from the Dagonoth Kings. Here's an elite clue, uh, and a hard clue. Oh, wait, H2 and a combo? Is that it? The H2 and the combo. Please. 49. Okay, so one more. And I believe this is uh, task number 390. Or no, 330. Whoops. Still a point streak, so that's pretty nice. Well, I got a medium clue casket at the end of that, uh, or I got a medium clue at the end of that Dagonoth task, so let's open it up, hope for a fortunate, maybe? Oh! I got it! I, I really got it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's Luck of the Dwarves time, boys. I know I'll be a little late to the party, but I'm just glad to have it. There we go, Alchemical Onyx. Then I need to, uh, let's see, head to Edgeville real quick. Throw this stuff together. Oh, I needed to grab myself a Cosmic Rune. Let's see, right there. Just gonna smith it. Beautiful Alchemical Onyx Ring. And then Enchant. There we go. And my uh, wealth should have just went up quite a bit. Yeah, 751 mil now. Not bad. They got like a uh, 40 mil ring right there. Hopefully that'll make uh, some differences at some places. And maybe in the long term I'll actually get myself the, uh, the famous Hazelmere Signet Ring. And knocked out a Chaos Giant Slayer task. Oh, and I finally get an Edamu task. Um, I think it's good XP per hour, so I may come back and prefer it. Um, but I don't think I have optimal gear for it. But hey, at least I have the Blood Shard chance, finally. And uh, people start to do some rot, so I decide to hop along. Well, this got off to a rocky start. We got the first kill down that you saw in the last clip, and then two fails back to back. Uh, but at least the fourth try it was a success as well uh, some onyx bolts and yet again more malevolent that's nice i also only used one shark during the kill but you know the tunnel collapse always hurts at least i got a rock tail drop to pay me back for all these sharks i'm losing holy crap some of these guys are really bad dying like every time well that task took quite a while and uh ended up not getting my uh blood shard but I did get the Ghost Hunter legs and the Ghost Hunter backpack, which I think there are shoes for that, or maybe gloves. Uh, but if there aren't, then I've completed the set, and that can save me some bank space. Yet another elite clue. And, uh, okay, sure. Bam, there's an elf task done, and uh, grab another. Let's see... Tazar or Greater Demons? I'll take the Greater Demons, I think, and... Uh, Go hang out at Krill. Well, I've already been here for like most of an hour. Finally got a drop, but it's War Priest of all things. Uh, I guess it's getting me closer to my Zamorak set. I think there's like one or two more pieces in that that I don't have. Uh, so that's something. Oh hey, surprisingly like three kills later, there's the uh, gauntlets to match the boots. A uh, God Sword Shard too. And got in another Beastmaster kill, just collected the loot, uh, was nothing special even though I had Luck of the Dwarves on, but hey, it's still pretty nice. I tried pet tanking for the first time, 
Got this Gobi Burial Charm, which I think you can get reputation for or something. I'm not actually sure. I have to look that one up. Um, yeah, so pet tanked for the first time. Wasn't that bad. Um, even though I have, like, well, you can see relatively high ping. Uh, it was kind of a bad world, but I'll take it. So I just did a little bit of duo vind for fun. Uh, a friend of mine had his loot share potential uh, way low, and I helped him to reset it, I guess. I uh, got a decent bit of dragon bones and uh, magic logs. You know, the usual drops. I got, like, all of them until the last ten minutes of the hour. Uh, but it was nice because I now have my Vin kills up to 88. So if I end up going for final boss, I'm real close to that one. Also, it's getting quite late in the day. I think I'm going to go uh, work on making some more urns. Like, uh, you know, trying to actually get these stacks to a thousand now that it's Ithil hour. Should mine some more clay. Uh, but I want to put up this video tomorrow. I feel like it's complete enough. At least it's long enough. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are kind of wondering what's going to be going on with my channel. That's all included at the beginning of this vid. Uh, and I still haven't made that intro that I said I was going to. So I gotta, I gotta put all that stuff together, upload this tomorrow. And I still got class tomorrow. So, uh... Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little change in style. And, uh, let me know what you think.